Okay, so the media that I reviewed is the documentary The Dream Life of Georgie Stone, which focuses on Georgie Stone's life and experiences um, growing up as a transgender girl in Australia. And my topic is transgender visibility. So I'm going to be arguing that when creating legislation concerning transgender individuals' health care, the priority should be placing power in the hands of trans people and allowing them to make decisions about their own bodies. Uh, my three main points are going to be um, restrictive legislation to a gender-affirming care um, often results in negative emotions piling up on the trans community. Uh, current legislation is focused, is centered around restricting trans autonomy instead of increasing it like it should be. And lawmakers often lack compassion um, for the people or group or community that their decisions will be impacting. So my first point, um, oppressive legislation causes a lot of undue stress and anxiety um, for transgender youth who are um, trying to get access to gender-affirming care. During the documentary, Georgie states that for the last five years, court has played a big part in my family's life. At times, it has overshadowed everything else. So having to constantly battle for their medical rights um, puts intense emotional and physical pressures on trans youth. Um, my second point, uh, the legislation we currently have does not cater towards trans autonomy. Uh, Georgie expresses her frustration when she describes her, um, her experience fighting for her medical rights. She says, to have a complete stranger having to make a decision about my body was really distressing and I felt really powerless. So society often labels trans people as, you know, mentally ill or just incapable of making the right decisions for themselves and it tries to invalidate their opinions when in reality we should be uplifting transgender voices and opinions and putting those into actions <laughs> and legislation and then my third point um legislation and lawmakers um fail to consider trans individuals as humans who deserve basic rights and autonomy uh healthcare decisions that should be up to, you know, between the individual and their, you know, their medical provider or medical professional are instead being put in the hands of a legal system that doesn't really make any effort to understand them or their needs. Uh, Georgie illustrates this point when she states that she didn't feel safe before she visited her doctor because not that many people understood her. So trans individuals often, um, experience discrimination just based off like a lack of understanding by society um so in conclusion if we ever hope to eliminate discrimination um for trans people in the field of healthcare, which is just a single step in achieving total equality for transgender individuals um then we need to trust their ability to make their own decisions about their bodies that they know what's best um, without government interference and yeah overall legislation needs to prioritize transgender autonomy.